inside the camp with Ukrainian forces as new supplies of Western weapons boost their confidence of pushing the Russians back. The latest dispatch of Russian propaganda video from the steelworks in Mariupol. The mayor says there are still civilians there and they've lost contact with Ukrainian forces for a number of hours. Good evening. The European Union is planning a sixth round of sanctions against Putin's regime, including a ban on Russian oil by the end of the year. But Hungary is threatening to veto the plan, despite proposals to give it more time to transition away from Russian energy. I'll be reporting from a military encampment in eastern Ukraine and asking whether, rather than sanctions and the oil embargo, it's Western weaponry that's going to make the difference in this war. Also tonight, as the bitter abortion debate erupts across America. Abortion campaigners say it's just the beginning of an assault on freedom. Pro-life states rush to change the law. We'll hear from a Republican strategist and a civil rights activist. On the eve of tomorrow's local elections, we crisscross the country. What are the issues that will decide it for voters? We're in Cardiff and Glasgow ahead of the elections, the first test for the Conservative government since Party 8. <laughs> A sweeping crackdown on gangs by the man who calls himself the world's coolest dictator. But El Salvador's authoritarian president stands accused of violating the human rights of his own people. But does he care? It would be their biggest blow yet to Russia's economy. The European Union has unveiled plans for a total ban on Russian oil imports by the end of this year. But Hungary, which is heavily dependent on Moscow's oil, has already indicated it won't support the move in its current form. The European Commission president, Ursula von der Leyen, got a round of applause when she announced the idea, but it would need unanimous support from all 27 member states.